I had my doubts if I was going to make it. I prayed that I would just be spared of having a heart attack. I'm Pat Cedars. I grew up in Austin, Texas. My father had a massive heart attack at 57. My mother had a triple bypass. This was going to be perhaps a problem for me. Being a nurse, she knew she had the high blood pressure. I guess that was the alert to us that she had some heart problems going on. I had no other symptoms that men usually have, but I had a tightening in my neck. My blood pressure spiked way up. I was alarmed at how high it was, and I thought, well, I better have Roger take me in. I made it through that night. The next day, my doctor did my cardiac catheterization. He said, you've got some significant blockage. I say, can't you just put some stents in? Unfortunately, like many women, I had small arteries and veins, and the stents would not hold. He said, what I think you need is to go ahead and have bypass surgery. Well, that's not a road I wanted to go down, but I knew I had to go down it if I was going to stay alive. I wanted to be around with Roger to enjoy that time of your life when you have the marriages and the grandchildren that I knew were coming. In 2003, when my mom had her open heart surgery, I was worried for her, but I definitely knew she was at a good hospital. I know Pat was concerned, but when we got to the hospital, all the doctors were so unbelievable. I had such confidence in the heart hospital. They made me feel comfortable. I was just so thankful that I had survived. I felt like I was young still, and I was ready to turn my life around. <laughs> I did have four children back to back. Focusing on the children when they were young was sometimes physically exhausting. All of a sudden, you know, I was way overweight. And then came menopause. So trying to keep on top of doing the best for the kids, it was hard to make that lifestyle change that I needed to make. A lot of times about our own health, we can be in denial. She definitely took care of everybody and neglected at times taking care of herself. My mom's experience with heart disease gets made me more interested in preventative medicine. All of my sons had the CT scan and they have lab work done every year. I've had the pleasure of caring for Pat for over a decade. Early identification of people's risk factors is critically important. This is a much easier disease to prevent than treat after the fact. I think knowledge is power and it's important to support the American Heart Association and go red for women. Development of minimally invasive technology is really driven by research. And so institutions like the American Heart Association are really what drive that. And so people's support of those uh, impacts individuals like Pat. Over the years, she developed progressive narrowing of one of her heart valves, and that warranted uh, an additional surgery. The evolution of the treatment is now to a point where that can be done without opening the chest. My mom means everything to me. She's definitely the glue of our family, and I can't imagine life without her. Uh, Roger and I celebrated our 50-year anniversary, and we have made a good team. I am very grateful to still be a part of that team. You know, I can't live without Pat. We work good together. We love our kids, and we love our grandkids, we love our friends. I've been most grateful to be involved with those grandchildren from birth to the time that we have to leave. It made me aware that you don't live forever. I think about that every now and then. If I got through it, so can you. You just have to ask for help. We end up taking care of too many other people, and you can't take care of these other people unless you take care of yourself.